Hi guys! Welcome to Champs Japanese Kitchen! I just want to say a very big thank you to you all because we were able to reach over 120,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. So let's celebrate it with a special guest. His name is Rotaro Sakura. Yeah! <laughs> so today I'm here to celebrate your 120,000 subscribers because I have 120,000 subscribers too. Oh, really? And how, long did, how long did it take? About five months. It bloody took me one year and a half. And it's taken only five months to you. What did you do? What did you cheat? No, I just made a, a healthy and tasty Japanese dishes. I'm making some healthy, nice videos, but it's just took me so long. But anyway, I'm here to help you. Thank you for coming. So what are we making today? Today, we're gonna make okonomiyaki. Okonomi means whatever you like. Yaki means grilled. And put it together, okonomi yaki. yaki. So, so let's get, get cooking. Right, so uh, we are making okonomiyaki, but yep. what kind of, what type of okonomiyaki are we making today? Yeah, uh, today we're gonna make a Osaka style okonomiyaki. So guys, there are two types of okonomiyaki in Japan. Uh, one is Osaka style, another one is Hiroshima style. So don't get mixed it up because you will make people very upset about it. <laughs> okay. So tell me what's going on now. Okay, so uh, we're going to make a batter Mm -hmm. for okonomiyaki. Mm -hmm. And first, we put the uh, water here, right? Okay. And then, uh, add the flour mm -hmm. into a bowl. All right. And, but not at once. Not at once. Yeah, little by little. One third for the first time, uh -huh. and mix. Uh-huh. Yeah. One third. Yeah. Why is that? Because the uh, batter will, will be going, going to be a sticky. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Too, too sticky, right? So guys, Let's add the rest of our flour to the mix one third at a time to stop the batter getting too clumpy. Once that's all fully mixed, we'll also add one egg and stir that in too. Now it's time to add the vegetables. Make sure you get your helper to tidy things up. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you for helping me. First, we're going to use about one eighth of a cabbage here and let me give you a tip on how to cut this easily. Remove the hard stem first and then take out of the middle section of the cabbage. You can then fold over the outer leaves yeah. and this will allow you to thinly slice the cabbage. Why not give it a try, Ryotaro? I am not huh? sure about this. It's quite heavy as well. Yeah. Be careful. Not, to, careful. not to cut your finger. <laughs> no, come on, more faster. Faster. More faster! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what came over me there. Anyway, let's put this cabbage to the side for a bit and give it a wash just to make sure we get rid of any hidden dirt. Next, we're going to cut up some green onion to add to our batter. This is not that hard. This is very easy. To, mm. Easy. Doesn't look easy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> not, not, not like, not straight. Not straight down. Not straight. A, li a little bit go move to forward. Move to forward. Yeah, right. A little bit. This is not how you do this. Little bit, little bit. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 Try to cut the onion with your knife slanted forward just a little bit and rest it against your knuckles to be safe. We will also cut up the green part of the onion to add to the mix. The flavor is a little different. The next thing we're going to add is Japanese mochi 
or rice cake. You can skip this step if you can find this, but it will give your okonomiyaki a nice chewier texture. Cut those up into small cubes and then let's add this to the mix with our vegetables. Okay. And then the green, green onion. onion. Okay. So cabbage and green onion and then and then uh, oh, the mochi, mochi, the, mochi, the rice cake. Rice yeah, cake mochi, here. The rice, yeah, mm -hmm. the slice spoons. Yep. After that, we're going to add a teaspoon of sesame seeds and half a teaspoon of dashi stock powder. Our next is an ingredient that you may not have seen before. This is yamaimo or Japanese yam. First, we peel off the skin and then we grate this down into the batter. It will become very sticky but give our okonomiyaki a fluffier texture in the end. Some people might not have seen mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. but some people might not like it, but this makes okonomiyaki so well made. Yeah, that's right. So it's, it's a bit tender, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fluffy, that's right, mm -hmm. fluffier. Mm -hmm. I know, this kind of looks gross, but now we're done. So, uh, what if you couldn't find mm -hmm. the taro, nagaimo, the taro potato? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can just skip it. Oh, but skip it. It still tastes good. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. No worries. No worries indeed. Next, we will add some seafood to our batter. In Japan, you can buy prepared seafood mixes that contain shrimp, octopus, and squid. But you can just add anything you want. Okonomi means anything you like, after all. Then we will add two teaspoons of soy sauce and give that a good stir together. Is there like a technique of um, mixing using some boxing? This is perfect. No. Uh, <laughs> like punches? Uh, uh, please don't punch the okonomiyaki. Once that all mixed together, it's time to start cooking. I've heated some grapeseed oil over a medium heat in a frying pan. And I'm going to start by adding some thinly sliced pork shoulder. You can also use pork belly. Now, we will let that cook for a few seconds. How many portions are we making? We're making for... Uh, two portions. Two. Yeah, okay, yeah. so two uh, so we don't have to share, it's good. Yeah. Uh, my that's own right. okonomiyaki for me. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Then we will add our okonomiyaki mixture on the top and flatten it out so it makes a nice round pancake shape. Then we're going to let this cook on a medium low heat for about six minutes. So six minutes on mm -hmm. one side. Yeah. That seems like almost too long. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. like, can you just put the lid on and make it shorter? Oh, no, 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 no. Okonomiyaki will become too watery, so please don't do that. Oh, okay. So, no lid, no okonomiyaki. <laughs> right. That's right. What does that even mean? Right, so now it's been six minutes. Right. So now it's a flipping time. Yes, right? that's right. And one thing I need to tell you mm -hmm. is that I always fail mm -hmm. to flip. Oh yeah, right, right. And it gets all like all mixed up and it doesn't right? look yeah, good. Right? So, mm -hmm. um, you gonna show that to me now? Yeah, I'm gonna show you the easier way. Oh. Right, easier yeah. way. Right, right. To flip. Uh huh. Correctly. So, okay. Fine. Okay. So you move into a plate like this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Right. And then. All right. Like this. And then. And, and then. And then. All right. <laughs> that meat right. looks. Fantastic right. as hell. Uh -huh. Oh my god. All right, so that's how you do that. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. I never, I never knew. Like, I mean, I, I see it like mm -hmm. how you know easy it is, but I never. This is easier, right? Now that our okonomiyaki is done, the last thing we want to do is make a quick sauce. You can buy pre packaged okonomiyaki sauce, but if you can't find any, I will show you how to make some. You will need 40 grams of Worcestershire sauce, which we will add to the same amount of ketchup, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and finally, six grams of honey. Mix that together and...
Okay, guys. Okonomiyaki is ready. ready. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Looks so good. I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, right. Huh? So um, so it's just ready right there. Yeah. But so um, just can you explain me a little bit about toppings that yes. you have to do? Yes. Okay. So here in Japan, many people loves to put the this is the bonito flakes and this is the dried seaweed on the top. Okay, so let's okay. do it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, okay, more. Oh, I prefer to do the dried seaweed mm -hmm. first, and then the bonito flakes next. Looks great. Oh looks great. yeah, looks yeah. great. More, 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 Ooh. more, more, more. Okay. And uh, can I just before we, before we eat? Oh, of course, of course. I'm Japanese. Okay. Right. I have to do this. Okay. Ritual ready. 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 Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Can I cut it for you? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. So fluffy, go. yeah. So oh, look at this huge piece here, but anyway. Oh. Mmm. Divine. Mm -hmm. Divine, that's the word. Oishi. Oishi. Mmm. Mmm. oishi, ne. There's one thing that's missing for unhealthy people. I'm talking about you. Unhealthy, unhealthy people. We need something else to put on the top of okonomiyaki that we already have here. It's already good, but we need mayonnaise. And this normally does not happen in champ Japanese kitchen because he's a healthy guy. But I'm gonna do it because I'm not healthy at all. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> How it tastes like. How is it? 126 times better. Whatever that means, it's really good. Oh! Hey, Rotaro. This is my channel. Oh. This champ's Japanese kitchen is only for the healthy people! <laughs> Get out of here! Oh. <laughs> Everyone, this channel is healthy people, so please enjoy healthy and tasty Japanese recipes, okay? And remember, after we eat the meal, we all say, Gotsou de shop. Gotsou de shop.